So my name is Chris. Um, I'll be talking today about Vue.js, just brief introduction. I'm not going to get into technicalities, just want to share my experience with you. Um, uh, we use Vue.js for production in our uh, company. And I'm front, uh, front developer there and um, just want to share with you um, the good things about it and why we use it very much. Um, so, um, what's going on? <coughs> um, yeah, so, um, um, so yesterday I was like thinking like what, what people use today and I just wanted to check with you what sort of technology uh, you use for your front end. So if you want to jump in on your mobile phone and just tick plus one the one that you use, that's the that's the URL. So we can quickly figure out um, what's our favorite framework here in Brisbane. Um, and you can vote only once. So so just pick the one that you like the most and uh, you can see the results in a second. In the meantime, uh, did anyone uh, use Vue.js or is familiar with Vue.js? Couple of people. <coughs> hey, where's <is> Sancha? <laughs> <laughs> and you're gonna ask about that. So I was like. Uh, I uh, didn't put that, sorry. <laughs> so I'm going to vote for uh, UJS. <laughs> Alright, so, um, so far we got Angular 1.x, Angular 2.x, and then React which was pretty much what I expected. Um, now, um, I hope I can convince you tonight that Vue.js is as good as Angular or even better. Um, and um, I like Angular. I actually come from Angular background. So, um, so, um, so when we developed an application that was Angular 1.3, and, and then I moved to Vue.js and I don't regret that I'm not coming back even though there is uh, Angular 2.x now beta um, I still think Vue.js uh, is pretty cool and um, yeah so um, so where, where uh, Vue.js fits in, in a space of different frameworks um, so I got this graph here which I borrowed from some other website, but that actually explains well where it sits. So, um, so I like Vue.js because it offers you the automatic data binding. Uh, it's two-way data binding, and and it's also in that simple square. Simple. Uh, it's very simple to learn. It's um, it's uh, that the learning curve is very very small. Uh, I can show you in the next slide how how quickly you can get started with with Vue.js. Um, um, so in, um, Angular JS uh, was an easy to to grasp at the beginning, but then as soon as you got into this deep, uh, complex app, you'll be like struggling with getting answers on how should I do it, and there are multiple ways of doing things, and 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 then. Um, like how would you build components? Um, there are these directives. Uh, then there, there is, um, you know, um, uh, this uh, um, uh, scope that you want to use in your controls, and and everything seems like, you know, um, it's it's not as intuitive, um, and that's where I think Vue.js is better, and it's my personal 
um, opinion that it's 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 very easy to use. It's very easy to learn. The commentation is very simple. Um, and um, Vue.js was created by a guy who worked for Google, and that that was in 2014. He was looking for a really lean framework, and and he researched. He couldn't find anything, so he started to build his own thing, and um, 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 and then he he's now working for Meteor as a full-time developer. Um, and then two years later, um, when you look at the graphs, the uh, uh, Vue.js picked up recently, as soon as it was released, 1.0. Um, uh, it, it's huge in uh, Laravel community because um, one of the creators, uh, um, Tyler, uh, mentioned on Twitter that Vue.js is his framework of choice for front-end, and suddenly it picked up and and, and there is a big community behind now, and um, um, it's um, Vue.js is great because it's very lean. So in its core, you can just um, embed it in your um, uh, you know uh, app, um, and and just if you need just data binding, that's all it does, right? But it's also um, flexible enough that. Um, if you want to extend it, build a single page app, you just put you know, a, a router on top of it and then you have single page app. Um, you want uh, to do Ajax requests, you install Vue resource plugin and then you got your HTTP request going. So it's very simple to use, uh, very easy. Um, I'll just show you in a second. Um, so when we choose uh, so when we choose uh, the framework, we have this, uh, um, you know, um, things in mind. Like we we want something really like simple, minimalistic, something that is developer friendly, intuitive. So so you work with uh, HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. And um, so for example, React, you know, embeds everything in JSX file. It's not as visual as uh, uh, you would want uh, in our mentality in developers mentality is, is always that distinct distinction where you have CSS separate HTML separate and, and JavaScript logic separate and that's what uh, Vue.js gives you uh, it's also uh, modular so together with Webpack you can build your modules and uh, and just import them um, uh, in um, uh, share them um, uh, on NPM and import on, on different projects and I'll show you that uh, later as well uh, and again it's easy to learn um, so um, so as I mentioned uh, on its core it's very simplistic um, it offers you all that DOM manipulations it gives you all that directives like um, vshow um, and uh, v4 for um, listing your items. Uh, so it's all about driving your UI with data and um, and you have this templating uh, system uh, with curly brackets, you know, you can just um, you can just um, um, embed your data uh, in, in HTML and, and just uh, um, uh, and, and, and it's just so easy to do. Um, so there, um, some people that use React might say, oh, there is this great feature where you have this state management system called uh, Redux or Flux. Uh, so uh, Vue.js has Vuex. Uh, uh, so if you build a larger SPA, you can use that to manipulate your state. It's really, it's really uh, cool and um, and you can do also time travel with um, uh, view developer tool that you can install in your Chrome. Yes. Sir. Chris, what's that font on there? <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Your font collector. It's, it's a Google open font. I expect okay. to see all of these in your uh, presentation. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> really a magic font, whatever it is. Amazing. Yeah. I'm at it. Cool, thanks. Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
Yeah, is, is it nice? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he seems to like it. It's <laughs> awesome, man. It's great. Um, yeah, so um, so when you use, uh, let's say, um, router, um, you, you get this V-Link uh, directive, and it's great because you can have named routes, and you can just refer to them. Uh, and so instead of having actual uh, href links, you just uh, you just put that V-Link, and you just point to your route. It's simple as that. Uh, you can um, you can also have a validator going. So if you have forms, it's very easy to get your uh, validation in front end going, um, and build your own custom validators if you want. So recently, I, I built this uh, credit card form, and it was as easy to just npm install uh, card validator, plug it in um, uh, as as a function uh, to this view dot validator, and and it just works. Um, um, API request, as I mentioned before, uh, is the view resource plugin, and then you have uh, on your um, view instance you have this this dot HTTP uh, methods available to you, and you just um, do the uh, AJAX request. Um, and um, yeah, I'm missing a couple. So this is a um, hello world example uh, with HTML template and curly uh, braces as I mentioned before. And um, and the the way that two way um, data binding works is like in Angular you have your uh, model on the input and and whatever you type in the input will affect your view and and then if you change the data uh, uh, then it will affect the, the model as well so um, so that's like uh, view instance is how you instantiate the uh, the view. Um, and you just point to your message uh, in your HTML and, and point, point to your uh, ID app and it just takes control over that uh, piece of code. Um, yeah, so um, I want to present you this, um, before I finish I want to present you uh, this uh, Vuex stuff. Um, so. Um, So there is this to do app, and um, and um, and there, there is this view uh, dev tools that you can use uh, as a plugin. And uh, so basically, as soon as you change the state, um, uh, you ca you can time travel uh, and just go back to previous state, um, go back to the next state. Um, so it's exactly in. Uh, you can do the same thing in React with Redux. Um, so, so it's 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 a modern framework. Um, it's all built in ES6. Um, it's um, there is a, a big <coughs> community. Yeah. When 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 is it modern? When is it uh, when is it made? So um, so um, so Evan Yu, the creator behind that framework, he started it in 2014. Um, the um, stable version was released in December 2015, so not uh, not uh, that long time ago. And um, so there was 9,000 stars on GitHub in December, pre-releasing 1.0. Now it's about 14,000, so it's a huge growth um, over just a couple of months. Um, and when you look on the internet, uh, it seems like everyone is just, uh, finds uh, Vue.js, very lightweight, uh, very developer friendly. Seems like the community is just going to grow in the next couple of months for sure. It looks like he's, um, some of the things he's taken from Angular and made it better of how he wants to see it. Is, that's is that that's exactly, it? yeah. So when he worked in, uh, in Google, he uh, picked up stuff from Angular. He liked, uh, he didn't like this, all the scoping stuff, he didn't like that. 
uh, due to checking. So uh, he, um, he actually uh, uh, he was smart enough to figure out uh, how to make that uh, uh, framework uh, perform very well by just using getters and setters uh, and using object object of defined functionality that you have in browsers and um, uh, it's pretty smart um, he he mentions on his website that it actually outperforms react js um, uh, in terms of uh, dom manipulation um, so um, um, yeah it's one of the fastest frameworks out there so um, um, so there is Angular 2.0 coming, and it actually fixed all the problems they had with Angular 1. So it's going to be very similar to Vue.js, but um, it's again down to personal preference. Uh, I like Vue.js because of its simplicity. It's not full-blown framework. It's just on, in its core, it offers you the two-way data binding, which in most cases you need for your web apps um, today. And then when you want to add stuff you can just add stuff to it you you, you don't uh, have to uh, you know uh, it's it's less opinionated uh, you, and um, it's it's really it's really nice framework um, so um, just to show showcase what you can do with it I've uh, completely um, uh, rebuilt the bootstrap uh, components <coughs> with Vue.js so, so there is no jQuery dependence. It's all happening thanks to Vue.js. Um, so, um, so if you want any of these components, you just go, um, you know, uh, npm install this this Bootstrap components, and then you just pick your component, and only that component will be compiled in your um, in your. Uh, distribution files so so if if you need a landing page quickly uh, and you just need uh, the the SAS file for that particular couple modules that you use on the landing page that's all you get in your distribution so so it's really lean at the end you, you end up with very small footprint um, and um, so components is a big thing with Vue.js uh, you can use this custom um, tags, um, you don't need polyfills like with Polymer uh, because that's being compiled uh, in the browser into, um, um, into valid HTML pretty much. So, um, so, so your code is, is descriptive um, and it's, it's very easy to use. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, are there any questions? you have a type ahead component? <laughs> um, no. <laughs> uh, because we, we didn't need one. But as, as we go um, in, in our uh, company, um, this is all the components we used on, on the app we are building. So, so we just wrapped them up, packaged them up, and pushed to GitHub so people can, can use it. Um, so there's this file upload. Uh, the great thing with Vue.js, it, it supports uh, IE9, so, so if you need that, um, so if you need that support, then uh, it's a great framework to choose. Um, and um, yeah, um, there are a bunch of other uh, repos that you can find there with, with components that you can just import to your project and, and use it straight away. All right, uh, thanks very much.